Jehovah Witnesses. Hello. Hi. How are you guys doing today? Are you the man of the house? Yes. You are? Mm-hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Young That's success. Good. That's a good thing, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, because, uh, you know, most of the time you see, it, you know, people they look like the, the house, you know, person. Yeah. And uh, uh, my name's Evelyn, and this is Lois. Hello. And we're in the neighborhood. We're just talking to people today about the uh, future, and about uh, right now we're looking at the things that's going on in the world. Are you happy with the things that you see going on in the world today? Not really. Not really. It's kind of chaotic out there. Yeah. Most people are concerned and if they, you know, there's so much issues about uh, <coughs> health care and all of the things, all those things, and mm -hmm. it, it affects all of us, honey. Yeah. Yeah. And so being the man of the house, I know you uh, are concerned. And it talks about, uh, does God promise wealth? Uh, what kind of wealth do you think that he's promising? I wouldn't know. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh. And it says, uh, does he promise this uh, wealth as far as uh, money, homes, beautiful homes, beautiful cars? Uh, see, this here looks like this man is getting his riches from probably the, uh, um, what is the word? I can't even think of it. But it's where you... Um, the lottery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, would you call that uh, the wealth that you would want? I mean, not really. I'm happy everybody. with the wealth I have now. Huh? I'm happy with the wealth I have yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's good to be content with mm -hmm. And it said here, uh, God wants you to be rich. Cars and garage or uh, a prosperous business. Just believe in, open up your wallet, and give him everything you can. So if, if everybody was like that, uh, do you think that they would be completely happy? Not really. Not really, would they? And, it's, and it, in the Bible it shows men that were rich, like Abraham, mm -hmm. Isaac, Jacob, David, Solomon. They had a lot of money, a lot of things. But what was the main thing in their life? What do you think? Me? I'd say uh, getting mm -hmm. through college and overcoming my addictions, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what you want? Well, that's what I've already achieved. You've already achieved it. Well, that's good. Yeah. But here in the scriptures, it tells you exactly what people you know, really need. And we know that Jesus, when he was here on the earth, was he a rich man? I'm not too sure. No. He was not rich. He said that he, he didn't even have a place to lay his head. I didn't even know that. Okay. okay. But here in John um, 17 and 3, mm -hmm. the scripture, and it says, This means everlasting life. They're taking their knowledge of you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent forth, Jesus Christ. So when he was here on the earth, his purpose wasn't to be rich, was it? He could have been. Because they wanted him to be, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, he, you know, anyone would want to be rich, you know, but. I mean, it's been too, it's, it's the way that you think, how you think about it, that you think money is the most important thing in your life. What is the most important thing in your life? Probably my wife right now. Your family. Yes. Yeah. And who should you put first in your life? My family. And who else? Somebody else. Who created you? My parents? <laughs> what about God? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You have sleepy as No, it, it's not that. I'm not trying to be rude, but, but I'm atheist. Oh, you're not atheist. You believe in something. Believe in God at all. Well, I mean, you know, God, like the way I see it, God didn't really help me out with much, you know. I had to, you know, come over my own addictions. I had to earn my own way through college. I had to start my own career. You know, I even got this house. That's a good thing. I mean, that's that's good. I you mean, know? You, you were blessed in that way, you know. But somebody else got you here. You didn't just get My here parents. just because your mom and dad had you I mean, birth. Somebody had to create you. Who created you? Did somebody create you? 
the doctor kind of helped. <laughs> okay. I'm just being honest. I know, I know, I understand that. You know, but would you like somebody to come and help you to to, to realize what you know you need to know about God? Oh, Is I'm fine. I'm fine with what I know. I'm just, I'm, I don't know. I'm just. If you're atheist, you you don't read the Bible, right? Yes, I don't. Okay. And, and do you think that you should? want to learn about what who created you what his purpose is for you in life wouldn't you want to know that wouldn't you want to know that i'm i'm content with what i know you know i just <laughs> you know life's simple for me you know anything bigger than that it's it's just too complicated okay, for me well think about it okay now you're happy with what you have you finished college you got a nice home thank you, you got a nice family i'm sure your wife is beautiful thank you and you got your children no, not yet. Oh, not okay. Yet. Well, you can wait on that. <laughs> <laughs> Very wait on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I mean, most young people today they don't they don't have uh, they they don't have that you know that freedom where they can just be with their wife and, mm -hmm. and she take care of you and you take care of her mm -hmm. and, and y'all you know keep the way it is. You yeah. Know? And when you have children, you know there's a lot of other things in your life too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Um, but just to have somebody just to come over here and explain a few things to you, would that be something hard to do? It would be hard, but I'm just not really He's interested. Not interested. Not interested. Yeah. Yeah. No. Have you ever thought about the fact that, you know, the universe is so expanding? I mean, I'm sure you watch TV and mm -hmm. you know that. But, you know, even the air we breathe, it's just the right mixture for us as humans. Somebody had to put that in place. Do you believe in aliens? No, I believe in God. You believe in God? <laughs> yeah. You don't believe life on other planets? I believe that, no. There well, can't be any other gods? Life. Well, there are. there is life out there, but it's a different form of life. And you think God created them? God or do you think they have them. Or do you think they have their own God? Please? Or do you think they have their own God? Well, they have the same God. They, they have the same God? Yeah, let me just hold this up. So you Thank can, you. Um, yeah, they're spirit persons. Okay, spirit so we persons. can't see spirit person. Mm -hmm. You know, do you believe in the devil? Have you ever thought about that? I don't. I you just don't. believe in, you know, the people. I believe in the earth. Mm -hmm. I believe in the air we breathe. See, but how did it get here? How did that composure get You ever heard of the Big the Bang Theory? Sun? Okay, what yeah. happens with the Big Bang Theory? Everything just explodes. Now, what happens if we drop a bomb? Does everything just go into place and we got the right kind of air and we got houses and we got... People. Well, technically, you know, the radiation, you know, dropped from a nuclear bomb could technically create different species of plants and soil and air. I've never seen anything explode that came out to be in order like we are because, mm -hmm. you know, the sun, take the sun, the moon, the stars, they all move and yet they don't bump into one another, they don't fall out of the sky. Just like people. You know, we all, we move around, we don't bump into right. each other, we gravity. don't fall off the face of the earth. Who, who invented gravity? Why do we stay on the earth? You the know. gravity is actually created from the center pole of the core of the earth. Okay, who created the earth? See, we go back to... Mm, <laughs> is it the spirit person? <laughs> yeah. It could be also really. from, you know, the... The cosmetologic uh, Big Bang, you know. We have a, a book that's called... Uh, do you a little bit. Not science at all, but... I actually failed cause science a couple of times, but... <laughs> yeah, but I'm not into that. You yeah. sure? It says, do you believe in creation or evolution? We have a book that's I believe in evolution and creation, yeah. but mm -hmm. I just don't know if... What's your name? My name is Aiden. Aiden? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. My name's Evelyn. It's nice, nice really to you. talking to you. It was nice talking to you too. Okay. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Have you. A good day. you too. Fucking Jehovah Witnesses. Ah!